Mom is booted out of the water park for her bikini. Even the cops were called. Talk about girls kicked out of pools, water parks, etc. for dumb reasons, normally the bikini. Can you believe that a 42-year-old mother was kicked out of a water park just because people found her bikini disturbing? But how bad could a bikini be to get you kicked out of a water park? Continue watching to find out. Kicked out for being too fit for a mom. Madeline Schaefer experienced the weirdest situation of her life when she got brutally kicked out of the Adventure Oasis water park Park in Independence, Missouri, and when asked why, she said it was because of the bikini she was wearing. Now, before you get this twisted, the bikini wasn't the slightest inappropriate. It was something a little bit deeper than that. According to Mrs. Schaefer, the people at the water park apparently felt uncomfortable with her and misjudged her. They thought that Schaefer was trying to show off and was probably looking for some fun with married men, but that wasn't the case. Schaefer later claimed that she wasn't that scantily clad woman everyone thought she was. In fact, she was some who had struggled with obesity for years and had worked so hard to get in shape to fulfill her dream of becoming a model. But what is all the fuss about? And why does this weight loss have to do with getting kicked out of a water park? Well, it all started when Schaefer decided to go and enjoy herself at the Adventure Oasis water park when suddenly she was spotted by a few employees that caught the 42-year-old completely off guard. Now, before I get into why these employees had the nerve to stop her and tell her to leave the water park, I must admit Schaefer did have a tiny problem people just couldn't back her up for. She did indeed have a nice body and her bikini had nothing wrong either. The problem was Schaefer's breasts. They were just too big. From the photos taken of her, what she's wearing looks okay, but maybe her bust was attracting too many eyeballs. Of course, other women would be jealous and married men would be distracted by her voluptuous figure. The employees probably thought that the best they could do was kick Schaefer out of the water park to avoid couples fighting over jealousy and kids getting traumatized for life. But Schaefer sure didn't see it that way. In fact, she was shocked as her ears were hearing and she refused to leave, telling them that they were speaking nonsense. When the employees insisted she leaves, she told them that she wished to speak to the manager to explain the absurd situation. But apparently, the manager wasn't that great either and told Schaefer to wear something on top or to leave the park. Now, Schaefer is not really in the wrong here because in the end, it is a water park and if you have a bigger bus than what is considered average, then there is simply nothing you can really do about it. It is not not that fair for her to cover up while the rest of the women in the park are enjoying their day in a bikini. But what made people raise an eyebrow at her was the fact that she only talked about her weight and how she lost like 80 pounds. Okay, you're inspiring, but what does that really have to do with you getting kicked out of a water park for having a big bus? So was Schaefer discriminated against? When talking about her situation, instead of sticking to the subject, she goes on to tell her long story of how she suffered from obesity and worked her brains out for the last seven years to look as good as she does today. I mean, kudos to her, because those seven years have paid off. But what's the point of her telling the story to us again? Anyway, she continues by saying that she was never the type of woman to show too much skin or wear an inappropriate outfit. Schaefer then explained that before she lost the weight, she would always wear clothing that covered her whole body, except for her head, of course. She also added that she felt very uncomfortable when people looked at her. According to her claims, she was once 255 pounds and hated the way she looked. So one day she said, enough was enough and went to the gym and shed 30 pounds before feeling comfortable to at least look at herself in the mirror. After years of lifting and cardio, she managed to reach a low weight of 170 pounds. Her story is truly inspiring, but completely irrelevant to the topic. What I think her problem truly is, is that since she has suffered from obesity for the majority of her 20s and 30s, she never actually experienced what it was like to be young and wear that tiny, over-glamorized bikini every teen girl wears at least once in her life. So she probably set a goal to build that awesome some summer body and experience what she never got to experience in her 20s. As soon as her confidence would spike up, it's really nothing harmless and if the employees saw the situation from this perspective, they would probably never stop her or kick her out of the water park in the first place. Schaefer did say that she now feels confident in her own skin. She continued by saying that if such an incident had happened to her a couple years ago, she would not have had the courage to step up for herself and would have gone home devastated at what just happened. But now that she is totally comfortable about who she is and her body, she she feels as if she needs to expose the water park for doing her wrong. Schaefer called the whole thing an act of discrimination against older women, which then again, she is right up to a point. But after looking at her videos and photos, she really doesn't look that old to be talking about old age discrimination. Lady, you look 27. But if Schaefer's story shocked you, wait until you hear about this other. Woman who was thrown out of a pool for wearing a one-piece swimsuit. Women have been bashed mainly by other women for the way they look, dress, and weigh. And this kind of thing has been 
going on for centuries. Nowadays, this problem has just gotten worse. Now for this story, I don't really know what to say, only that I was left shocked at what I was coming across. The incident took place in Knoxville, Tennessee. Temperatures were high and Tori Jenkins, along with her fiance Tyler Newman, decided that the best way for them to cool off was by going to their apartment complex's swimming pool. But things didn't really go as planned. Just a couple of minutes upon arriving, staff members approached them and told them to leave. They later explained that the reason the couple needed to get out was because of Tori's inappropriate swimsuit. But the situation didn't exactly end there. Of course, the couple refused to leave, saying there was nothing wrong with the bathing suit Tori was wearing. And to be honest, I don't know if the staff of the pool was blind or whatever, but since when is wearing a fully covered one-piece swimsuit considered inappropriate? It was clear as day what Tori was wearing revealed nothing except for her arms and legs. What's even more shocking is the fact that Tori had paid the pool a monthly $300 fee to enter during opening hours. When she still refused to leave, the staff then justified themselves saying that she was wearing a thong bathing suit. On top of that, Tori Tori said that they told her they received many complaints from other people in the pool area, but the couple had stepped foot there only three minutes ago. I'm beginning to think that the staff had either been drinking something that day, or they probably mistook her for the wrong person. Tori's fiance then spoke about his situation, saying that after the staff started realizing that they may have exaggerated the whole situation, they started commenting on Tori's body, saying that her bottom was too curvy, which was apparently too inappropriate for children to look at. Okay, so you're probably shocked at how quickly the situation escalated from a dress code problem to the staff body shaming a customer. But they didn't stop there. I don't know what jungle these staff members were raised in, but they even had the audacity to tell Tori that there were teenage boys surrounding the premises and that she had to leave for them not to get too excited. The couple was both left speechless and had no other choice but to leave the pool before the cops were called. Tori and Tyler later filed a complaint towards the pool staff for what had just happened. Tyler then decided to not leave things at that and made the situation a big deal so that others realized how judgmental and horrible some people can be. He said that the day of the incident, Beyonce was told that she's less important than how men feel around her and that Tori is also less important than a man's urge to sleep with her. What would you do in this kind of situation? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.